Hi! In the last video, we learned how to solve simultaneous equations using elimination method. And in this video, we'll solve the simultaneous equations using substitution method. Let's label the two equations as equation 1 and equation 2. I can rearrange the first equation to make x the subject. So if I take away 4y on both sides, I have x is equal to 26 minus 4y. Now let's sub this expression for x into the second equation. Keep in mind, every time we see x, we'll replace it with the expression 26 minus 4y. We need to put brackets around 26 minus 4y because x is represented by this expression. So the second equation now becomes 2 times x, which is 26 minus 4y, plus 3y is equal to 25. Notice we only have one variable in this equation now, which is y. So let's solve for y. Since there is a toru outside the brackets and the operation is multiplication, according to distributive law, when expanding the brackets, we need to times every term in the brackets by toru. So expanding the brackets, we have toru times 26 minus toru times 4y plus 3y is equal to 25. 2 times 26 is equal to 52. Negative 2 times 4y is equal to negative 8y plus 3y is equal to 25. Now let's collect like terms. We have 52 minus 5y is equal to 25. And the final goal is to find y by itself. So I want to take away 52 on both sides. And on the left, I'm left with negative 5y. On the right-hand side, I have 25 minus 52, which is negative 27. So now my equation becomes negative 5y is equal to negative 27. And to find y, I'm going to divide negative 5 on both sides. So y is equal to negative 27 over negative 5, which is equal to 27 over 5. Since both numbers are negative numbers, the quotient will be positive number. Um, in this case, we can write the answer as a fraction. You can also convert it into decimals, uh, but fractions would make calculations easier when we find x. So we'll use fraction instead. Now we want to find x. It's important to pick which equation we want to sub the y value into. Since I already had an equation with x being the subject, I can use that equation to find x. Since I know x is equal to 26 minus 4y, to find x, I'm going to sub in y is equal to 27 over 5. So 26 minus 4 times 27 over 5 since I know y is equal to 27 over 5. So x is equal to 26 minus 4 times 27 over 5. 4 can be written as 4 over 1 and times 27 over 5. When multiplying fractions, we can multiply the numerators and denominators um, together respectively. So the fraction part becomes 4 times 27, which is 108. 1 times 5 is simply 5. So x is equal to 26 minus 108 over 5. To solve for x, I know 26 can be written as 26 on 1. And if I multiply both the numerators and denominator by 5, I turn 26 over 1 into 130 over 5. Now, the two fractions have the same denominators. That means I can subtract them. So 130 over 5 take away 108 over 5 is equal to 130 minus 108 over 5, which is 22 over 5. So now I found my x value is equal to 22 over 5 and y value is equal to 27 over 5.